Since 93 Sports back with another one. Shouts out to the LDBC. Um, wanted to get my reaction to the second round stoppage of the Shabransky guy by none other than Sergey Kovalev. There's really not much to say about the fight. The Shabransky guy, my opinion, he came in there as a scared fighter, in my opinion. Uh, I know the broadcast, they were trying to stress stress the fact that this was a, a fighter that, that really came to fight and, and uh, really thought he had a, a chance to defeat Kovalev, but I just did not see that. Um, I gave the guy some sort of chance thinking that Sergey Kovalev maybe was coming in there as a fighter who was unsure of himself, so maybe he could get caught with some shots and, you know, he would give up easier, but... I didn't see that he caught the guy Shabransky guy with a lot of shots and um he got the guy out of there in, in second in uh the second round and um there's really not much to say about the, the fight um I don't know if this was uh, should have been a championship level fight the Shabransky guy I know he had two wins um after the loss to Sullivan Barrera but I mean who are who was these guys I, I didn't really uh, know any of the guys I, I looked on box rec to even see that he had two other fights because obviously it's not anybody of note if i haven't heard about it because i follow um, boxing very closely but uh yeah man it's just another just basically shit fight in my opinion you know they basically handed him the belt back and you know after the fight you saw kovalev sitting there <laughs> celebrating and throwing his, his his hands up like he just did something great i mean you just beat this this guy who just lost to sullivan barrera um by knockout as well so he obviously had some sort of chin issues if he's already been stopped um i heard that sullivan barrera was supposed to face kovalev and they weren't willing to offer him enough money um that's something i want to look into you know, I really would have liked to see Sullivan Barrera versus uh, Kovalev. That would be a, a good fight. Uh, Barrera's coming off of uh, two two good victories. I believe um, he's beat Joe Smith Jr. and the Shabransky guy that Kovalev just beat. Um, so that would have been a good fight. I want to look into why Barrera, you know, wasn't willing to get in there with Kovalev. I mean, this would have been the, the perfect time. You know, maybe take a little bit less money and, and get you a strap and get the guy on your resume. But uh, that's something I'm going to have to look into. But again, man, uh, you know, you really can't say anything about the victory. Kovalev was aggressive, landing at will, uh, landing whatever he wanted to on the guy. And the guy was just there to be hit all night. And uh, there's, there's really not any kind of analysis you can take from this victory. It's just... A guy that's there to be hit, and he's going against one of the heaviest punchers at light heavyweight. So you can imagine what happens. And uh, that's my thoughts, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when all my latest content drops. And I'm out.